Final Cut Pro 10 is an excellent application and it is really cool all of the things that you can do with it. However, you will run into problems with it over time. It's just one of those things that happens. Sometimes the problem is simple and all you have to do is restart your computer to fix it. Other times though, you're gonna have to do uh, much more troubleshooting very specific steps. So in this video, I wanted to show and talk about one of those specific steps. I have a separate video that goes through all of the troubleshooting that Apple recommends doing to your computer into Final Cut to get it to work. But I wanna talk specifically about something uh, calling trash the preferences or delete the preferences, remove the plists. Uh, there's many different ways or terms that people will use in support forms and other things. But here's, here's the deal. If you're running into a problem with Final Cut that is weird, it just glitchy, something doesn't work right, sometimes deleting the preferences helps. And here's what I mean by that. Here's Final Cut Pro. Notice I have this, my stock library open. We can see the ship, everything. I'm gonna go ahead and quit Final Cut. Just going up to the Final Cut Pro menu, quit Final Cut Pro. And here's the troubleshooting article that Apple says as far as resolving an issue with Final Cut. And again, you can watch the video on it, but it goes through all types of different steps here. And then step 11 says to reset the Final Cut Pro 10 preferences. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. And the, the big thing you should know is that resetting the preferences doesn't delete or affect your libraries, your projects, your media. It should not impact any of that. But it does reset any of the custom settings and preferences that you have set for Final Cut Pro. So for example, I'm just gonna open it up normally and just clicking on the Final Cut Pro menu. You'll notice when I do that, it returns me to the last library I had open, the window layout is exactly how I left it. If I were to go up to Final Cut Pro and go into preferences, any of the changes that I make in any of these windows. Uh, if I go into window uh, workspaces, I added some test workspaces. I can see those are in there. It's my, this is my workspace, my system. It's got all my settings and preferences just the way I like them. But if something's not working right, if I can't open up Final Cut, if it's giving me this spinning beach ball, uh, maybe it quits unexpectedly every single time you open Final Cut, there could be a bad preference file that's causing that. So to reset Final Cut Pro's preferences on your keyboard, hold down Option and Command and open Final Cut. And you should see this window that says, do you want to delete the preferences? And again, it warns you here, deleting the preferences will reset all application settings to their defaults, but the libraries and documents will not be affected. So that's important because anything that you've created, you don't want your media to be deleted. And, that, and it's making it very clear here that's not what's being deleted. So I do want to do this in this case. So I'm going to say delete preferences. And Final Cut is going to act a little bit strange because it's removing the preferences. So it's almost like you're opening Final Cut for the first time. You'll notice it's taking a little bit longer. It's still bouncing down here, but it's taking longer. But then we get into it and it's giving us the what's new in Final Cut Pro 10 as if we've just opened this for the first time. I'm gonna hit continue. But notice the window layout is back to the default and we have this untitled library. So it's really brought it back to the beginning as if you've never opened Final Cut before. So you will have to go up to file and say open and navigate to your previous libraries. You're not gonna have a recents list because it's reset that as well. If I go to window workspaces, notice those custom workspaces are no longer there. If I were to go into preferences, you know everything's been reset back to the defaults. So I know a lot of people jump to saying, hey, reset the preferences, just reset the preferences, open Final Cut, it'll fix whatever the issue is that you're having. But understand that resetting the preferences does delete a lot of the custom workspaces and the things that you might have set up with your workstation. So just be prepared to uh, lose that and kind of get back to this default layout that's there. But in a lot of cases, it does help and fix problems. One other thing that it does, it also puts this video app diagnostic folder on the desktop. And this folder includes a lot of information with uh, from your system that was there before, including those custom workspaces. So you can see the test and the uh, untitled workspace that I had in there before. Uh, it saves it all into this little file that it puts on the desktop. So we haven't actually lost any of those workspaces. I could put all those back if I wanted to. 
Uh, same thing, all the files that it's deleted, the plists are all in here. We have a diagnostic report and some caches that we could share with maybe Apple support or someone else who's troubleshooting the machine. Um, so that stuff isn't permanently lost. If it didn't fix your issue, you could go into these folders and put everything back where it was. But that's an overview of the delete preferences feature when you hold down option command to open up Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, if you do have additional questions about this or you're running into a specific problem that deep delete preferences is not fixed, I recommend going on to Apple's website. You can do a search for uh, resolve an issue and resolve an issue in Final Cut Pro 10 brings up this document that goes through all the steps they recommend doing. I would strongly recommend that, but if those steps don't work or if you have a question about one of those, send me an email, finalcutprohelp at me.com. And if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe for future videos uh, that will be posted. Uh, if you've been following along, this is the last day of the month and the last video in our little uh, stretch here. I made a new video every single day for the month of September. And this is going to be the last video that we get posted. Hopefully you've liked this streak. If you did, let me know what you liked most about it. If there's a specific video you want to see in the future, though, uh, that's what we're going to be creating going forward. It just won't be as frequently as it, these ones have been. But hopefully this uh, 30 days of 30 videos, hopefully some of these videos have been helpful for you. I know so far in the videos that I've seen, getting likes and views, people have liked them. So uh, if you want me to do more of this, let me know. And again, topics, I'm always open to, to figuring out what topics you want to see. Uh, otherwise, if you are watching this on the day it is released, it is the last day of the month. So our newsletter has gone out. Uh, you can go to anawesomeguide.com to see that information. But that means that tomorrow is going to be Final Cut Pro Help Live. So tune in, subscribe so you get a notification when we go live. We're going to be talking about markers. And in addition to that, there's a Q&A section at the end. We have some pretty nice, uh, unique questions this month uh, that will hopefully be helpful to some of you out there. And if you have a specific question, you can always send that as well in the email to finalcutprohelp at me.com. Otherwise, have a great day, everyone.